let's cast a part with our triathene system. We have A, B, and C components ready to be poured in weight. Before we do that, we first need to prep the mold with mold release. Ensure to spray all areas of the mold evenly. Using a paper towel, wipe off the excess mold release in a dabbing and wiping motion. This will remove any unsightly lines in the finished product. After pouring the correct weights for each part into a single cup, you can start mixing. Using a spatula, like a popsicle stick, start mixing vigorously like you're beating an egg. While mixing, remember to scrape the bottom and sides of the cup to ensure a thorough mix. Also, don't forget to scrape the material off your spatula and mix that in as well. You now have a very well mixed material. When de-airing, you want a vacuum of at least 29 inches of mercury. When applying full vacuum, the material will bubble vigorously. You will need to break the vacuum seal multiple times to prevent the material from overflowing. Once the material stops overflowing, it now enters the steady bubbling state. At this point, about 50% of the bubbles have been removed from the system. As time passes, notice that the bubbling intensity has decreased. At this point, you are looking for the ability to see straight through to the bottom of the cup as the bubbling intensity decreases. At this point, you can see we can clearly see through to the bottom of the cup. Please keep in mind, you will never get 100% of the bubbles out. This is how the system was designed. With this rate of bubbling, we can now clearly see to the bottom of the cup. At this point, your material is de-air. Let's pour our de-aired material into our mold. Control the pour to obtain a laminar flow. This prevents the material from folding onto itself, trapping air which will cause bubbles. Try to pour from one side of the mold and let the material flow naturally to fill the entire mold. Remember, the key to a bubble-free pour is to keep the flow slow and consistent until the mold is full. 